Hi everyone and welcome back to our community TCAL. So today we are going to continue our blanket and as you can see here I crocheted a new version and I used a new yarn kit especially for this TCAL and it's called Jeans and Roses. It's durable but very soft and glossy and yeah this is how it looks like. So the beginning of the gradient was a salmon tone, then it continued to graduate into gray and now it's more bluish. And this was our last fern pattern. There is also a new difference which you should see. I didn't use the pearl stitches for separating but I used the Tunisian simple stitch. So this is how it looks like if you do a different version of these stripes. Today I'm working with the Chiago T spin crochet hook and the red cables. There is a stopper at the end that helps you to not lose your stitches. <laughs> Today we're going to crochet the lattice stitch and I'm going to show you how to do that. The base will be one row of the Tunisian simple stitch. So we're going to do the same as in block one, just go under the vertical bar, yarn over and pull up a loop and do this with the next stitch, pull up a loop and continue that way across the row. So that's not the lattice stitch, it's not the stitch pattern, it's just to have a base. So at the end of the row, don't forget to use both loops to pull up on your loop. So as usual the salvage stitch. And then chain one and yarn over and pull through two as always. Through two, through two, and so on. So that's your return pass. And this is row one. This is how it looks like. Now let's go for the lattice stitch. The pattern includes two rows and we will be alternating all the time between these two. So let's start with a decrease and increase at the same time. We are going to use three stitches for this. So go under the next three stitches with your hook like this and then yarn over and pull up a loop. Okay so now yarn over again because you don't want to have a decrease. We want to have the same number and go again through the three stitches and then pull up a loop. And this will give you three loops on your hook. Then go through the next stitch and pull up a loop. So just a Tunisian simple stitch. And then again go under the next three stitches and pull up a loop. Then yarn over and go through the same three stitches again and pull up a loop. And then again a Tunisian simple stitch. And now we're going to repeat this all the time. So the part with our three stitches and a Tunisian simple stitch across the row. And this is how it looks like so far. So I've got three stitches left, two usual and one salvage stitch. So I'm going to crochet just two Tunisian simple stitches at the end. So that's fine. Whatever you will see if you've got two or one, just do a simple Tunisian stitch. And then the salvage stitch as usual, just go under the two stitches and pull up a loop and then chain one and go always through two. Make sure 
that you don't forget any loops at the three stitch section. So you, you have to watch out, you have to be careful. You will get used to it. So after some rows, it will be just natural. But watch out that you don't forget the loop that, <laughs> that you gather or that you grab all the three loops. So just the usual return pass. And this is our first lattice stitch row. This is how it looks like. Now we're going to crochet the second one. And the second one is nearly the same. All we've got to do is to shift. And to shift, we start with crocheting two Tunisian simple stitches. One and two. And then after these two stitches, we are going to start with the three stitch section. So after this, you're going under the next three stitches. So you are right when you've got one loop of the last stitch, one Tunisian simple stitch, and one loop of the next three stitch section. This tells you that you're right. And then you pull up your loop, yarn over, and you're going through the three stitches again and pull up a loop to have three stitches again. And then the middle loop will be your next Tunisian simple stitch. And then again, you're going under the next three loops to create your, your new three stitch section. And also here, pull up a loop through these three, yarn over, go under the three stitches and pull up a loop that you have again, three loops on your hook. And then the middle stitch will be your next Tunisian simple stitch. And then just repeat as usual as row one, just the three stitch section and then the Tunisian simple stitch and so on. Repeat it all the time across the row. And this is row two, this is how it looks like. And now you can already see these diagonal lines that appear and this how they are formed. And now we're going to repeat row one and two again, as you've seen this for the lettuce stitch. So not the base row, just the three stitch section and the simple stitch. And we're going to repeat row one and two all the time. So in row three, we are going to start with the three stitch section first, as you see, and then we're going to crochet the Tunisian simple stitch. And then again, you're going under the next three stitches and you can recognize it the same way. So you've got one loop from the last three stitch section. The middle one is the Tunisian simple stitch and the last one, the last loop is one loop of the next three stitch section. And yeah, don't forget to pull up your three loops and then the Tunisian simple stitch. Yeah, and you just repeat it as shown before. Yeah, it's very simple, but looks great. And you continue doing this until you will see a bead in your yarn and the bead will tell you when to stop the block and after this, you will do the stripe in your way. So I hope you liked the tutorial. Happy crochet and until next time. Bye bye.